Okay, okay, okay. Hi everyone, okay. welcome to the okay. next episode okay. of okay. Babe and Us. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Yes, and today we're going to answer more questions from the first part. And the first one would be for my husband. Um, it's it's from uh, Marjorie and it says what do you what do you do to make mom babe happy hmm first of all I I I strongly believe only us can make ourselves happy you can help someone to facilitate them their happiness you can you can help them in achieving that but ultimately the responsibility is with the individual you have to learn to like yourself first and when you like yourself then obviously um you can assist your partner you know what they like and you can help them to facilitate it in that way that's that's what i believe in anyway because obviously i think it's it's very obvious <laughs> <laughs> I can make myself happy, yeah, guys. I, yeah, Literally, but, that's why he was trying. Yeah, he was but, trying to say that yeah, I can if, make myself happy, so I don't need ooze to make me happy. But, but what if, if if I know what you like, what makes you tick, yeah. what makes you happy, and I can <laughs> help you to facilitate those, then yeah. I think that's my duty. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I believe. Ultimately. That's why I believe. So it's up to me if I'm gonna make if I'm gonna make if I'm gonna be happy with anything you do for me, yeah. Essentially, because um, only you know exactly what makes you happy, yeah. and it, then again, it comes down to communication. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if we communicate and we have good communication, I know what makes you happy, mm -hmm. and then in turn, I can help you to facilitate those okay that's basically what i'm saying okay yeah and the second question is from mom lynn planilio um she's asking that um why we only have a girl child and is it a pun well like everyone knows um having kids is not necessarily down to you you can try as much as you like but if if the god says yeah <laughs> you should have one mm. well that's what's gonna happen so um i don't know yeah we, we have we have tried haven't we so. yeah we have tried but the first one with with paris with my first child um well my first child my only child <laughs> <laughs> so actually um during that time um myself and my husband we didn't plan to have a child especially myself because um i'm still wanting to get something like career wise so I, w I was studying that time i was supposed to get my pin and then um but then um there's some things there's something happened that during my examination and i was afraid that i wasn't gonna be able to have a child that's why i i just um yeah we tried basically yeah so um i i the clock it was ticking yeah the clock was tick it <laughs> was ticking so i need to prioritize family over career so that's what happened but we 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 tried really hard for paris it's like it took us a while to have um to to have to have a child and yeah. then after paris as well after three years we tried again to have another child but unfortunately it didn't happen and then and we're still waiting and we're still waiting <laughs> we're still waiting for for the second one yeah. but yes um she she wasn't a plan but it's just like it's just a matter of well, choice um, that she was planned but but not intention like she was planned but you have no choice i have no choice <laughs> <laughs> i have to do it or else i won't be able to well we don't we never know either. well i think what maybe what you're trying to say your your decision was forced because um, yeah the, because i have to clock. choose yeah but um, i have to choose between 
between um, bearing a child or I, I or having a having a having having a good you career. You want to share this that maybe you find it's a bit difficult for you to fall pregnant. Yes. 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 So. And also, um, there's some during my um, smear test as well. There was something they they can see something. In it's my, a it's a fibroid in my yeah. in my examination. That's why I have to drop my plans for my career and have it. But fortunately, after give after having Paris, I still managed to pursue with my career and get where I wanted. Or yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> get I where I wanted to. Has um career satisfaction is, yes. that, is that the case yes. or are you still trying to get there but um no i'm still um i'm actually um beyond my plan so i i have this um dream job but i i get higher than what i i dream <laughs> to be so <laughs> so i job satisfaction yes i would say at the moment yes Okay. Yeah. So next please. Next please. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the next, and the next is question from... is from Honey Almario. So Almario. Um, yeah, Honey. So from Mom, Mom Honey, she was asking um is what can honey, honey. 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 Honey my love. Okay. Honey. Yeah. Okay. So Hi. she's saying that um for single moms, what can you suggest, especially if they don't get the support from the father? So I think you can answer this question. Well, me. Um, for me, I'm a product of a single parent, so I know it was difficult for my mother. So I I think one of the ways to, to kind of deal with or try and get through that situation is is involve community so i for me i strongly believe that kids need a male role model and i think if the biological father is not providing that i think you should have someone in the community like a, a mentor that your kids like i don't know maybe a father or uncle or someone someone you trust a male figure um yeah that i think is important and again i don't know about your financial situation how you if you have a job um yeah so if you, if you have a job and then you need obviously you need you need support like community support i think get like a a strong group of friends um that's so they can afford that help you with that support system yeah uh, I, family I especially yeah. family if if you have the family that you i don't know if that helps but yeah I, obviously i don't know much about your situation mm. if you if you have a secure job and stuff like that which i know is difficult to balance work life with raising kids because of um child care mm. responsibilities and stuff like that so um so based on my experience yes you need those things to kind of help you and obviously um with providing your kids with with education and stuff like that which ultimately is going to benefit them in the future which is something i think mm -hmm. should be important and paramount that's something that you should try your best to make sure your kids have a good foundation education wise and of yeah I don't I hope hopefully that helps if not just yeah. comment um, if you want to share further if you want a bit more advice yeah if yeah. we can assist we will yeah yeah I don't know yeah no. and also um, I mean he's, he's talking about like answering more questions if you have more questions and also um, know your priorities as well even if like i'm not a single mom but i i have a lot of um like responsibility for my parents and um other family members so uh what what you can do as a single mom is to know your priorities so uh know which one that really needs first before anything else so i think that's 
applicable to everyone but as a single mom the more you need to prioritize your your things it's well, like guess, you yeah. you remember yeah you i remember guess the some... basics like obviously yeah. um security yeah um kids need um stability yeah mm, i definitely know um consistency and stability yeah. is so important and obviously I, I forgot this about yourself as well you should try to make sure you are happy and you're in a happy place mm. and because obviously if you're not um yeah. mentally and physically okay yeah it's gonna Fantastic affect the kids it's gonna yeah. affect your kids and it's gonna affect your whole um ecosystem with yeah. your family so yeah try and um see if you can promote some good mental and physical health yeah the first and then yeah. yeah like um i would suggest as well like like connected to his advice is like prioritize yourself make yourself happy and be positive all the time all the time i know it's really difficult this time for everyone but especially for the single moms and um make sure that um you're mentally like fit and then everything goes and then the next one is from mom glenn diversion she's She's asking hi. if <laughs> hi Mom Glenn. <laughs> yeah. So Mom Glenn is asking if we experience discrimination from family and friends. And um well for Filipinos, yes, it's obvious. <laughs> for me, yeah, it's really um, obvious. My culture. This, I, I got it from your <laughs> I got it from like I think it's it it's it's both yeah because i i get like i work as well from 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 no no but for for my oh yeah okay my, you... from my perspective and my culture yeah um it doesn't matter what race or creed you're from mm. as long as you're happy um i'm talking about from as from from a jamaican yeah. point of view mm. um because in, within our society, um, our motto is out of many one people. So mm. um, the society has lots of different races. We have Chinese, we have Indians, mm. we have Caucasians, mm. and obviously uh, people from African descent. Mm. So within, within our society, um, I don't get that kind of stuff because we promote like, well, you're Chinese, Jamaican, you're european jamaican um so we don't have those kinds of but obviously as you were about to mention about prejudices prejudices exist in every society it's in every society so you can yeah. you can be you can be discriminated even if you married uh, the same filipino <laughs> I married a same Filipino person, so it's so it it happens in every society. So it's not it's not special to both of us. But I I think the reason why this question came up because because obviously um, <laughs> what's what's her name? Is it Glenn? <laughs> no, Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Okay, so um, is it she? Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah so she, she, I'm she. sure she's um probably aware or have some kind of um, inkling or <laughs> yeah so something she has uh, she, yes. heard, she heard it from someone that yes. there's some discrimination or she probably yeah knows um, that it's it it happens within yeah i know i know because the thing yeah. is it's like it 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 comes from from both sides anyway it's like not everyone wants me like based on my ex in my experience not everyone's in my group of friends and family wants him to be my my husband yes they, and the they same want her to yeah and it's the same a philip and philip. a lovely filipino <laughs> husband <laughs> i ideal man <laughs> stop it yeah but but the same the same with with his friends as well it's like telling him like oh marjorie will just gonna be like this and that and uh, then it's like mm, no, no not so, my no, not your friends people like, that you're pre no with. pretending to be your friends <laughs> yeah it's like um they're making making stories about against me and against him so that's well yeah uh, it, oh. pe people probably have said <laughs> Mm. They they were surprised, like not fellow Jamaicans, other um, black black um, people. Yeah. Um, probably have said 
oh, I thought you would have dated um, a black person or mm. a Caucasian person. That's mm. what I. So. What is Caucasian again? Like a, a white person. Okay. <laughs> like the people that yeah. um, I'm acquainted with and associated yeah. with. Therefore, like this is, but obviously, as I said, within my culture. Yeah. If you love someone, regardless of race, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but as long as you're happy, happen in, within in my, every society. Yeah, because you obviously you've got uh, we well documented colorism within yeah. different societies, which happens in your country. Yeah, it happens um, everywhere. In in your culture, it happens within my culture, mm -hmm. um, status hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So prejudices is in every facet of society so i uh, in what, what i would I mean, say you're making him <laughs> even more even more uh, what, ser what? serious and uh, so no 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 so, so what i would say so to you, if you if within your heart you love this person mm -hmm. i think it shouldn't matter what race or creed or re religion it doesn't matter like go go with your heart yeah. And um everything will work out in the end because the people that um are prejudicial mm. in the end they'll realize that actually he or she is a decent person. Yeah. yeah. It's like it, it is they'll, they'll what you see have. past the 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 color mm. or the, the race. Yeah. I I, I hope that is okay because it seems a bit long winded, but I, I apologize if it's a bit too long winded. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So look at us. Even if um, not everyone agree with our relationship, but well, we didn't say that much anyway. Before we, it's like no one knows about re our relationship, especially at work, um, until we got married. So after after two years, <laughs> so it's like they're just surprised. Most of them were surprised because we were we were not um, we were not really. Um, talking about we don't we don't go and break together when we were in a relationship with even if we, we work at the same place and stuff like that so we keep our private life private <laughs> so that's the main thing as well so that's why we lasted that's why we lasted for this long as like we're almost um 11 years in our well, marriage now i don't now. think it's because we kept it private yeah but no but we, we, it, it we, helps as well <laughs> <laughs> well it helps as well no because uh, i'm telling you i'm so sensitive i'm the type of probably you're not that sensitive but i no, do I'm but you I... yeah but we're different people baby yes yeah <laughs> okay next question mom glean <laughs> okay this is from um mommy cheng so mommy cheng is asking how is ooze um it's Tagalog. It's like, but how are you? How do you love me? How the way you love me, or something like that? I think we've answered the question in the previous. Um, how do I love you? No, no, this is like it's hard to translate. <laughs> it's like I love how, how to show how <laughs> how, how is Uz. I know, no, I know now. <laughs> how Uz show his love to you? No, it's um actually, mommy. Mami Cheng, it's like um, he's doing, he's just natural. He's like, he doesn't need to do extra or bonga uh, things to I make, show, to I show his love. I show my appreciation. It's like, um, how, how do you express love? You, yeah, how you, do you express love? You, That's make, the... you make the individual feel um, secure and comfortable around you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. Essentially, essentially, yeah. If if you make the person feels welcome, secure, and yeah, loved, uh, I think how else can you? What well, unless unless on a I haven't kept a diary anyway. If I had a diary, like, <laughs> I would have said, oh well, today this is how I. But well, yeah. this is how I'm going to make Marjorie. But happy. essentially, yeah. or how to <laughs> how to. How to how yeah. to show my love to Marjorie? No, he doesn't help. He's he's so natural. It's just like to show how how to make me feel secure. Is that one? I will mention one thing as well that he doesn't 
he doesn't go out at night or stay overnight in the other house so when he is in london obviously when he is in london he's gonna come home every single night but which is i really appreciate that's a it's, that's a given so i don't it's not that. given babe it's it not given a... it's like not everyone uh, not not all husband will do that not but, not all partners mm -hmm. will gonna do that but i really appreciate it because that's um that that really reminds me of my dad making sure that he's at home staying with us like every single night yeah that's that's the thing uh, it's, it's like, just it's just a bit alien to me that I'm, some someone would think that no i'm just i'm just saying it's like it doesn't need to be uh, that's what I'm, I'm just trying to say that yeah. you for you because you know that um it's just paris and i so you're making sure that you're you're there for both of us you know well i guess it it's it's your perspective it's my perspective i, I know, I know it happens that obviously sometimes because you need yeah. to go abroad so it's like it's you're not you're not in the country so that's that's a different story no i, I do know <laughs> 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 it, there are there are relationships where maybe one spouse maybe i don't know go out and they probably think oh let me go back the next morning maybe they went to a party or something yeah and then stay yeah. overnight and yeah. stuff. But, but you Which don't is... with the, but you don't do that it's like yeah. you, you're not the type of person that even if you go home like like very rare it's like probably like once a year <laughs> <laughs> like when he goes out like with his friends and then come back like the latest is like 1 1 a.m something like that but you always come home every single day wow. <laughs> thank you babe i really appreciate that and also that actually that's the last one is it? and yeah and um i would like to thank ati belen boslon for my dress for my beautiful dress um thank you so much i really I really like it, and it goes, it goes with my woolly hat. Woolly hat, and also to my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and most especially for my husband for have this beautiful settings. He yeah, uh, it, that really surprised me that this one's really nice. It's like you really put, you really you really thought about honest, it. There's not much effort. No, it's, but you did look at this this uh, the thing the settings is really nice oh, i really love it it's very, it's very, very basic there's it's very special. basic there's nothing special about yeah but it. you you thought about it like a new new scenery new new look <laughs> but anyway <laughs> but thank you i know for you is nothing but thank you for for all your support especially to my channel yeah thank you so we, we definitely will cut that out anyway <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm not gonna cut it out. But yeah, anyway, thank you. No, no, we're not. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. I love you. Thank See you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Hope you continue to support. Um, yeah. Yeah, and any more questions, just comment down below if you want us to answer more questions for this babe and us. Um, segment segment um, of Bay Britica London yeah yeah we'll try our utmost best to see our best we can now um, answer your questions and if we if we've answered them and you get any help from them then yeah, yeah. and um, also and also disclaimer we're not we're not um we're not saying our opinion according to being yeah, me, okay. being Jamaican, being him, being Jamaican, and me being a Filipino, uh, we're just answering questions based on our experience. Yeah, so I that's no, a personal. I have nothing negative. Nothing to negative say about, about anything Filipinos, in Philippines and any culture, race. Yeah, any culture. I, it's, yeah. I, I respect people's culture. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So this is just about me my personal views and my personal um, views yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing so negative ne about anyone the, else any cultures or anything so um yeah okay see you in our next video bye for now love you bye. all <laughs> <Ciao>. <laughs>